Welcome to Hawks United, my new home and venue for the brand new series, Jamie Johnson FC. On CBBC or BBC iPlayer. Jamie Johnson FC is the next chapter in the Jamie Johnson story. Having played my heart out for Dortmund, it was time to return to my boyhood club, Hawkstone United. And that's where the new series takes place, following the hopes and dreams of the Hawks United Academy recruits. This is the home for the new Jamie Johnson series, JJFC, the fictional home of Hawks United. Imagine playing there every single day. Jamie has progressed from Dortmund and the new owners of Hawkston have moved into a brand new academy. Jamie's in the first team and this is, this is our centre of excellence. This is the Hawks United Academy where pretty much most of the drama takes place. The show follows Jamie after he returns from Dortmund and then we're trying to realise what life must be like at a real academy for these kids from the ages of about 11 to 15, 16. We thought that it was a you know a great environment to try and explore the stories around what being an academy is really like. The pressures of the day-to-day, -day, the training, the nutrition, the nature of surviving and progressing and making the cut. A lot of what the first series is about is who survives, who falls by the wayside, who improves, who finds it tough, and each character has their own individual stories based on that journey. What's unique about a lot of our cast is that the majority of them play for academies. So therefore they're bringing their real life stories into their performances. Um, and all it does is just enhances the world for us. Amelie is playing for Hearts in Scotland. Bjorn is playing for Wolves. Gabe, who plays Andrew, is playing for Bradford. Miley, who plays Christina, she's now playing for Milton Keynes and has having England trials as well having that ability to think about positions that they've been in or friends of theirs have been in, just adds to the reality. And the best part of being in an academy is that, obviously you get elite coaching, get to play against the top players and top clubs. The only bad thing is, um, it's when you're doing bad, isn't it? Because it's all fun and good when you're doing well, but the downside is when you're having bad, when you're off form and it starts to go wrong for you. And it's sometimes it's, it's tough, but obviously top players can overcome it. That's our cast point of view. But what does a professional footballer think about academy life? Noni Magweke, Chelsea, Brightman. I just remember positive moments, just enjoying myself when I was a kid and always striving to be as good as I could. Just focus on that season and focus on the next game and focus on really enjoying yourself because uh, a lot changes when you get to a professional environment. The same template of what we've done previously with Jamie Johnson applies to here. Real kids playing real football. The training sequences are real because we have ex-professional footballer, Jim Whitley, who plays Burn, who's setting up these sessions for us. Everything about what we try and do here has to look and feel representative of the real world. And that's the only way that it connects, I think, to people watching. And the fact that we've done it for so many years on Jamie Johnson, whether it be the way that we film the football or the way that we set up the stories and the characters around the stories, all have to have a foundation in truth. We've only begun to scratch the surface in the first series, but you can see what an amazing world Academy Football is to explore in the show. The cast, crew and writers have all poured their heart and soul into the show, and I think you're really going to like it. Catch Jamie Johnson FC on CBBC or BBC iPlayer.